Hey guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan and we're looking at something really unique, really special here. This is a 1991 Mitsubishi Galant AMG. And so a lot of people don't realize, but AMG used to be a tuning company that was open to basically all manufacturers if AMG wanted to make cars of it. And uh, these days AMG is exclusive to Mercedes-Benz, in fact owned by Mercedes-Benz. This car was made before that time. And so this is an ultra rare car. I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find numbers on exactly how rare it is, but some people were saying about 500 of these were made in this spec. I don't really know. Look it up on Google. Maybe you can find out the answers. And if somebody does, post it in the comment section because I'd like to know. Now, it is really, really weird how they decided to make this car. Now, there is a car called the Galant VR4, which is a four-wheel drive, 4G63 engine, turbocharged, basically a Lancer Evolution Zero because this was before the Lancer Evolution. But this one here is not quite like that. It does still have the 4G63 engine, but AMG decided not to make it turbocharged and instead made it a high performance, naturally aspirated engine. And so this two liter 4G63 revs to 8,000 RPM and puts out 170 horsepower, which was pretty good for a, a, an engine that doesn't have any variable valve timing, but it is front wheel drive and that makes it lighter and so we get 1220 kilograms in this Galant front wheel drive, AMG styling. And so let's talk about the engine. The engine has high compression pistons, which is 10.4 to one, I believe, instead of the 9.4 to one. Also has titanium valve springs, hollowed out rockers, different pistons in it. I already said that, <laughs> didn't I? Uh, what else does it have? Different engine management system and then like a cyclone swirl intake, which is kind of old school technology for a hyper burn uh, system that maximizes efficiency. At any rate, AMG made this a higher horsepower, higher RPM style engine, which is very different from AMG's current engines, which are usually high torque, low RPM engines comparatively. And so pretty interesting to see this. Now, this is a uh, purchase review. This vehicle was bought from auction, is going to be imported to the USA. These were only ever sold in Japan, as far as I know, and this one bought from auction here in Japan. I'll lower the hood here. I will note that uh, it has been taken good care of. The fluids all look to be in good shape. And uh, so we're gonna lower the hood here. Look at that, tuned by AMG. Very weird to see that. Oh, and timing belt was changed, according to the sticker here, 2011 at 101. 610 kilometers. Okay, the car currently has 104 680 kilometers on it. And let's have a look at the auction sheet. There's a lot of notes on here. It's going to take a little bit of time to go through them all, and so bear with me for a sec. Okay, it's a 1991 Mitsubishi Galant AMG Type 2. Now, I don't know what the difference between the Type 1 and the Type 2 are, but uh, again, Google's there. Google's your friend. 2000 cc it's an auction grade r because it's been in a rear end accident interior b 104 680 kilometers original five speed transmission i have to say the five speed in this feels so smooth the engine revs up so quickly it feels very much like nothing else it doesn't feel like a, an evo really ac alloy wheels power steering power windows here's the sales points there are a lot of them and some of these i might not be able to read correctly because uh, I suck at reading Japanese, but I'm going to translate this for you. It says one user car, which is wonderful for such a rare car. Very cool. Uh, comes with the owner's manual, history papers, and three keys. Uh, okay, it comes with a full history, uh, 27 sheets of all the inspections done here in Japan. Every two years in order to get certification for the road, you have to make sure the car is mechanically uh, sound. And so 27 times the car was deemed to be mechanically sound and you have all the paperwork of what was changed during that time. AMC, uh, AMG fine-tuned double overhead cam engine 4G63. Of course, that is the Lancer Evolution engine quick gear steering rack, AMG aluminum, uh, aluminum wheels and steering wheel, comes with aftermarket Navi with digital TV tuner and toll collection box. Okay, we got some more here. Purchase from the user, so basically a dealer trade-in. The vehicle hasn't been smoked in and has been garage kept. That's been crossed out because I don't think you're allowed to say that when you sell the car at auction. Uh, what does this say? I 
think that this one here says that the same the same family owned it and so it's got the same last name but two two different names or something like that i can't quite read what it says in 2004 at 72,000 kilometers and 2011 at 101,000 kilometers the timing belt and water pump was changed each of those times 2003 at 71,000 kilometers the clutch was replaced and uh, it comes with a, uh, a catalog of all of the parts and explanation of that with the documents. Now, we haven't received the documents yet. We usually get the cars before the documents come in for some strange reason. Okay, now, here's the report on the car. It says interior liner and panel, one part missing, and the wood is cracked. I couldn't find the part that's missing, but I believe that it's the lid for this section in here that the mo monitor mount has been attached to. Okay, seat saggy and wear. The monitor has been attached. Steering wheel peeling. Door mirror scratched and faded. Interior wear and dirty. Right rear fender has been replaced. You can see that here on the diagram. Right rear panel has been dented. And then left, I'm sorry, left rear panel has been dented. Left rear side member, one part is bent. Rear panel, rear floor bent, underside surface rust and corrosion. Now that accident damage doesn't look to be too bad. It's been repaired and it doesn't seem like it was a, an accident that was extremely bad. A lot of times cars will be written off here in Japan if the accident is really bad because the values of the cars fall so quickly compared to other countries. Now looking at the body here, we have some large scratches on the front bumper. Otherwise, everything is really mild damage to it. And so the biggest one is an AU2 dent here. Now, if you don't understand all of the markings on here, there's a good description of those on our website. And so, wow, lots of information there. Let's take a look at the vehicle now. And I have to say it looks really good. I would say that the body is probably somewhere around 7 out of 10. And with some cleanup, it could be 8 or 9. The wheels are 15-inch AMG wheel. They say AMG right there on the center caps kind of weird to see a 15 inch AMG wheel but they are uh, of the style got some kids on bikes yeah almost getting hit by kids on bikes okay so the wheels are of the style of the AMG Mercedes cars at the time this is AMG's second car I think of Mitsubishi they made a Dem debonair which is an early 80s and that one looks insanely cool um, this one here also very cool tuned by AMG on the back here tuned by AMG Gallant still original exhaust original wheels original suspension really fun to drive uh, the original suspension because it's very soft springs even though they're an upgraded gas strut and so it's very much a early 80s feel it's not really flat around the corners it's more like tip over and then wait for one wheel to pop up <laughs> and so uh, I think it's cool though to keep the original suspension on a car like this because it's going to have more value as a collector's car uh, than the sum of all of its parts. Front bumper here is tuned by AMG and then those fog lights are pretty cool looking as well. This badge in the grill. Okay, has a parking pole, very Japanese thing. That comes up to show you where your front bumper is because the roads here are tight. Tuned by MG badge there. And so I was very curious to know how much this would sell for because there's not really history of them. They never come up for auction. And so when one does come up, you have to grab it. So the buyer of this car is a very lucky fellow, I would say. No matter what the condition is, you're going to be trying to grab these whenever they come up if you want one. This one is in quite good condition considering the age, 25 years old. Now I think that the Series 1 had a different spoiler on the back than this. I think this spoiler is a Series 2 or it was optional because there is a different style spoiler that goes from here all the way to the back. Okay, so let's go inside now. 170 horsepower high revving engine. I'm pretty sure these door cards are wood. Uh, wait a second. I wasn't thinking when I said that. Yes, they are wood. I'm pretty sure these wooden door card pieces are exclusive to the AMG, but we haven't bought a Gallant other than this one in this generation, so I don't know for certain. Power windows, they all work. Here's the exclusive AMG steering wheel. It's a smaller steering wheel than the original one by a little bit to give you a bit sportier of a feel. 
has a little bit of scratches at the bottom, but definitely easy to restore this. It's not too far gone at all. I think these seats are probably the same as the regular Gallant, or at least the Gallant VR4 or sport seats maybe are about the same, because they do have pretty high bolstering here. And they're a nice seat, they feel comfortable. The vehicle feels great, very good seating position to steering wheel, good weight of the steering, uh, good feel of the pedals, shifter feels great. Okay, hopping in here. And so, I really like the look of these gauges. Now it shows here 7500, but it will go all the way to 8. It might even go past that. Just doing a little bit of reading about that online. Okay, dashboard's pretty simple. It has climate control AC, and so that's nice. Very kind of late 80s, early 90s look to this section here. This is cool, you can set left and right for your air or right in the center. This one here, climate control AC, and the AC does work, so that's good. You can set your temperature. Kind of cool for a late 80s, early 90s car, and then you want to set your own temperatures. Push this guy here. Uh, set your own fan speed, I mean. There you go. And then you can choose where you're going to be blown, and I would like to be blown in the face. Okay. AC Econo and off aftermarket CD player and aftermarket navigation with a monitor that goes there. The monitors are usually sent to us in the post and then we send anything that we get in the post such as monitors to you in the mail so that somebody doesn't nab that when the car is shipping. Okay, shift knob is made out of wood. Boot is in good shape. E-brake works. Folding mirrors work. Nice long 80s throw to the shifter. Love those long shifters, yes. So here's the cracking in the wood. It's basically in all of the panels. Uh, you can tell it's real wood because where the gloss is taken away, you can see the actual wood in there. I really want to take this car for a drive. It's weird, I don't get this excited about cars all the time, but when it's something this rare and this different from the other models, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Kind of a weird thing there. Back seats. Oh, let's pop this. It's basically the same size inside and out as like a second generation Camry or an Accord. And nice big size trunk. In the back here, it comes with roof racks. Kind of a weird thing there. They look like official Mitsubishi roof racks and then Tire chains, I think, is what those are. I can't read. It says Schneeket Chain a Neige. That's French, isn't it? Chain a Neige. Chain. I know Neige is snow. Oh, wait. These are all different languages. Oh, man. Snow chains. Yes, I am correct. Okay, so it comes with snow chains. You definitely don't need those because snow chains suck. There's no reason to have them. And, uh, these you might want to have we can send those to you via post i usually we can 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 put them on if you want but i don't like doing it because i don't want to risk any chance of damaging the cars but if you really want me to then i will looks like you unscrew these and then um something else goes on keep in mind though if you put the roof racks on the car the car becomes taller and shipping is based on the cubic meter volume of the car and so that will increase the cost of shipping for you if you do that okay so unique vehicle here amg high tuned 4g 63 2 liter engine front wheel drive very interesting certainly a car that you're going to want to keep in good condition and uh the value is only going to go up over time as nobody really realizes that the AMG had anything other than Mercedes-Benz. So something really unique here. Very happy to see this one. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Check out our comments. Check out our website. Check it all out. Thank you very much for, for that and this. And that will be everything. Bye-bye.